I don't even know if this is like really big news. It's it's not. Uzi's alleged scrapped pink tape cover art. Yeah, it, I feel like it's all too similar. And there's the pink diamond. It's all too similar to the Pluto, baby Pluto, where there were two astronauts. Is Uzi still going with the space theme? I guess that's been his thing this entire time. Like there's always that colored planet in the top right or left corner in a lot of his uh, cover arts, even with Eternal Attack, they're on a different planet. So we'll see. But th this is that little death punk mask that he was wearing at one point there was like pictures that surfaced a long time ago i don't know i i don't think it's good enough but i think uzi said it was never or or it was i don't i don't know he somebody showed me dms with uzi saying that was never a cover art but then the artist came out and said yeah this was an idea who really knows but yeah it's it's just it's not Uzi could literally just have a picture of himself on a cover art, and I think it would be better than that. That's kind of it's kind of corny in a way. It looks like AI. It probably does have some sort of like effect on it that makes it like what does AI even look like anymore? Like in my in my company, not not like my own, but the company that I work for and do consulting for, we're implementing AI marketing strategies where. It has generative AI to create content. And it's like, it literally just makes content like humans based on data. It can just scrape the internet of what looks like an astronaut and it'll come up with that. And so it, yeah, it, it just, they're making what's already been done influenced by a bunch of different astronauts or a bunch of different of the key word that you put in there. So soon you won't even be able to tell what is AI and what is real, you know? It's just made by a machine or like an algorithm. AI is cringe, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but AI is not going anywhere. It's already getting implemented in levels that you don't even realize, like your feed on your Twitter and Instagram and everything is already, your recommendation algorithms on Amazon, YouTube is all powered by machine learning and AI. So it's it's not like crypto where people think that it's just a fad. Like, no, I'm not talking about chat GBT even because because maybe that is a fad because it's kind of just like Google where you can search something like an answer. And there's way more applications that you can use. And I have used chat GBT and I still do a lot. But yeah, AI is not going anywhere. So to call it cringe, like I get it because it's a fad and people are hopping on it so fast, but it's been around for a long time too. And yeah, AI, if you create a company based on AI, you're gonna be making a bag. Lil Dirk said he needs a drop before Uzi. Yeah, saw that. I was like, what does that even mean? Cause that just means that Uzi is trying to drop soon, which I feel like he's been trying to drop soon for a while. And we did know that he's been like, like he's been saying it and for the past few months but what does that necessarily mean like this summer or does that just mean that you're trying to drop it and then it just doesn't drop and then you keep saying it the next year so i don't think he's gonna have a problem lil dirk's one of those artists that actually drops more frequently than uzi to so to say that he needs to hurry up and drop before him he's tr he's scared of his sales or whatever he doesn't want to get because because uzi would definitely sell more than lil dirk Lil Durk's like an NBA young boy type where he'll sell 60 to actually he'll sell more than 60. He'll, he'll hit like 100K at least, but n not too much past that because it's just. But it, the thing is, Dirk and those street rappers, yes, they might get less album sales within the first week, but then they live on forever. Like I think I think Dirk and Whole Lot of Red drop on the same day, but. That year in 2020, Lil Durk's album actually sold more total. So these the, the rappers that we listen to, they actually sell, they got more hype the first week. You know, they have legs. That's a good way to say it. Jack Harlow album. Jack Harlow, I feel like lost a lot of hype. He didn't have like the glamorous song on there on this album. I still have not listened to it. I just, it just hasn't really 
been relevant in my mind i'm going to because i heard a track and it actually wasn't bad it was just like more classic rap that jack harlow does rather than trying to capitalize on glamorous and like these samples that are of course blow up on tiktok but they're actually better music like glamorous was trash i hated that song it was not good the original fergie glamorous song was way better 